Today, Peppa and her family are in the fancy dress shop. They're looking for a Halloween costume. I hope we haven't left it too late to find a costume. Next, please. <laughs> Can I have a spooky vampire costume, please, Miss Rabbit? Sorry, Peppa. Mm. I'm afraid we've just sold our last vampire costume. <gasps> oh. Uh, not to worry, Peppa. We'll find a different costume that's just as good. Right, Miss Rabbit? Uh, of course. <gasps> Let's go and look. <laughs> Peppa is trying on different costumes. Ta-da! She tries a lemon. Lemons aren't as spooky as vampires. She tries a lovely flower. So lovely! It's lovely, but it isn't spooky. And even a... Whoa! Pencil. Gosh, hmm. how unusual. <laughs> Do you have any oh. spooky costumes left, Miss Rabbit? <gasps> I'm afraid we're all sold out. But we do oh. have some spooky bits of costume left over. Maybe you can make <gasps> a brand new monster, Pepper. Yes, let's go. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for things to oh. make a spooky costume. What about these monster keys? <laughs> now my teeth are spooky. Look, Peppa, bat wings. <gasps> Very spooky. <gasps> Dinosaur tails are very spooky, oh. George. <laughs> spooky <gasps> hat, spooky <gasps> face paint, spooky spider web. <laughs> oh. Why don't we try these on? <laughs> Peppa is trying on her brand new <laughs> monster costume. <laughs> My word! That's the scariest costume I've ever seen! It's perfect! Pepper feels very spooky in her Halloween costume. <laughs> Pepper loves making spooky monster costumes. But Mummy and Daddy think the price is quite spooky, too. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. Don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Vegetables in space at my house. Yes, yes, yes please. please. <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Pepper is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! <laughs> Follow me! Pew, pew! Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon. Just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Woohoo! Oh! Oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> oh dear, oh. there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is <laughs> pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon.
<laughs> um, what are we looking for on the moon? Beep, the only thing on the moon is the moon. Beep, Papa. The moon is made of cheese. So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course. <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am... <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. It is Halloween night and everyone is busy decorating pumpkins. There has been a power cut, which has made all the lights in the house turn off. Oh dear, there must be something wrong with the electricity. Don't worry, I'll get the torches. Oh my! Mummy Pig has found the torches. Here we go. Now we can all see. <laughs> but I'm afraid the pumpkins will have to wait until we fix the electricity. I know. We can look for ghosts in the dark. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm a bit scared of ghosts. Can I keep my eyes shut? OK, I'll help you get around. Ghosts! <laughs> George wants to look for ghosts too. Sorry, George. You're too little. Huh? It will be too scary for mm -hmm. you. Now, follow me. Peppa and her friends are looking for ghosts in the very spooky living room. Ooh. <gasps> it's a ghost! <laughs> it's not a ghost. It's just Gerald. Sorry, Peppa. I can't see with my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spookiest room in the house. Now everyone is looking for ghosts in Peppa's bedroom. Ghost! <gasps> <laughs> the ghost is not a ghost. It is George in a blanket, and he wants to help look for ghosts too. Ghost! Ghost! OK, George, you can come with us, but it will be very spooky in the hallway. <gasps> no! George doesn't think it will be spooky at all. <laughs> It's extra, extra dark here. It's dark everywhere. Huh? Oh dear, Peppa's <gasps> torch has gone out. It's too dark. Now, now, there's nothing to be frightened of. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> The lights are back on, but now oh. there is a big mess. Oh. It was just a fuse. Oh, what happened? Uh, I think we must have a ghost. <laughs> Peppa and her friends love looking for ghosts, but they love decorating pumpkins even more. Whee! It is bedtime, Whee! but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> Dory! 
Once upon a time, there was a hero named Super Pepper. <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Wee. She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> Until one day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's the dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. Everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? Today, Peppa and her classmates are visiting a chocolate factory. Can I try some chocolate, please, Miss Rabbit? You can, Peppa. Yay! But we've got to make it first. Oh. <laughs> Peppa is very excited to make chocolate. How do we make it, Miss Rabbit? With this machine. Hello, machine. Can you make me some chocolate, please? <gasps> Thank you, machine. Yay! Now can I try some of it, please? Not yet, Peppa. We need to decorate it first. Follow me. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to decorate the chocolate, too. You can decorate one chocolate bar each. Ooh, it looks like a muddy puzzle. <laughs> yes. But don't jump in it, Peppa. And you can add whatever decorations you like from the table as long as it's yummy. Mine is a carroty chocolate bar. <laughs> Squeak! Delicious! Mine is a cheesy chocolate bar. Squeak! Yum, yum! And mine is a spaghetti chocolate bar. Oh. Because strawberry laces look like spaghetti. <laughs> Phew! Scrumptious! Can I try some chocolate now, please, Miss Rabbit? Almost, Peppa. The chocolate needs to cool in the fridge first. The fridge is very cold and makes the liquid chocolate oh. harden into bars. And done! <laughs> Try some chocolate now, Miss Rabbit. Not yet, Pep. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. <gasps> Hooray! Delicious. <laughs> Scrum diddly option. Squeak. Hmm. Is something wrong, Peppa? No. I just really liked it when the chocolate was all runny like a muddy puddle. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Then it's lucky I have one more treat for you Yay! all. It's... <laughs> a chocolate fountain! It's just like a giant chocolate muddy puddle. And lots of nice healthy fruit to dip to. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Peppa loves muddy puddles 
Especially when they're made out of chocolate. <laughs> Pepper, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, and Freddy Fox are dressing up to play a game. I'm going to be a brave knight. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a footballer. Hooray! Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Pepper is imagining George is a goblin. Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy from that goblin. <gasps> yes! That's George, Pepper. We're just <laughs> pretending, Freddy. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's the goblin and Teddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is fast asleep. Let's pretend Daddy is a sleeping dragon. Shh. And let's pretend the living room is a cave. Ooh. <laughs> Follow me. We have to be quiet so we don't wake the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I must have dozed off. Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. We'll use magic to rescue Teddy. And I'll use my football. Hello, little goblin. We're here to rescue Teddy. George doesn't want to be a goblin. Oh, do you want to help us rescue Teddy instead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if George isn't a goblin, then who has Teddy? Dinosaur! Now, everyone is pretending that the dinosaur has Teddy. <laughs> Teddy has been rescued by the witch, the wizard, the brave knight, a footballer and George, who is not a goblin. Four tickets, please. Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Pepper's favourite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George, we're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost <laughs> movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. Me. Oh. Uh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me, coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whish, whish. Yay, it's starting! <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. Oh dear, 
George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Oh! Pepper has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George. It's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not scary? No. And this magic wand oh. will keep you extra safe. Wish! <laughs> Wish! <laughs> Plus, at the end of the story, everyone lives happily ever after. Ooh! Happy! <laughs> Wish! Shh! <gasps> Sorry! Everyone <laughs> loves going to the cinema, and George really loves movies with happy endings. George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. <laughs> Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Uh... Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. <coughs> Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig... And a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George 
is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes! <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to oh. go bowling. And he oh. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> those are tap dancing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> They're very noisy! <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> George oh. loves clown <laughs> shoes. Whoa! <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Oh, uh, shoes! Shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. <laughs> Tall ones. Little ones. Yay! And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. <laughs> they are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George <laughs> loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> it's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's <gasps> lots of colours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created mm -hmm. a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting oh. room. It's where we make sure all the <laughs> juice tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange ah. juice. This is apple juice. Ah. 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 This tastes 
fly all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice and Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice.